Hello guys, welcome to the part 18 of surprise moon series. Let's start. The question is why to play? Think what are you gonna do? Yes, why to play? And you are over here, uh, uh, you are already under attack like uh, queen f1, rook f, rook cross queen, and then uh, bishop, uh, sorry, rook cross uh, f1, bishop cross f1, and rook cross f1, it's a checkmate. So over here, you actually need to defend two. But remember, as I taught you in earlier videos and earlier part of the surprise move, a good attack is the best defense. So it is not necessary that you place a move like this and you defend, or you just move something like this, or you play a rook on G, G1, playing some passive move and defending yourself is not the correct way to defend. Okay, it is not, it is not the question of correct or wrong, but it is not the best way. If you have any other possible op options available, you should surely try for that. Okay, so think, is there any active way and a way where you can attack your opponent with, with, in a much stronger and a faster way, then you can win the game directly before he gets a checkmate on you. Okay, so make sure try to attack faster than your opponent that will help you out in such situations. First, try to find such attack. If not possible, then at the end you can resort to the moves like rook g1 or the which will help you out. Okay, to defend it simply. Yeah, so just pause the video and start thinking. Yes, the correct answer over here is, I'm just uh, revealing the solution. If you haven't paused and you want to think, make sure just pause and think. Let's go ahead. The correct answer over here is, first move, rook cross, uh, sorry, rook c8 check. Okay, giving a check directly to the king. See, now what happens? Yes, bishop is killing it, I know. See, for example, if bishop doesn't kill, and king just simply moves away to move like uh, king f7 or something. Then in this situation, we can just simply play queen c7 check, bishop d7, and queen cross d7 checkmate. Okay. All the other squares are blocked. So it's a checkmate over here. So obviously, no one is going to play such moves. And obviously, anyone will try to capture the rook. Okay. So rook c8, bishop cross c8. And now what happens? Yes, rook c8 was surprised. And even the reason was to open the line of the queen. And the next move is queen e8 check. Now what happens? See, in case if, for example, just king tries to, if either he puts the over here. Yes, he cannot run away because bishop is already blocking him. Okay. So he, he is forced to put the rook on f8. And as the black plays rook f8, the next move comes is rook g7 check. Another surprising move and another rook sacrifice. We already sacrificed one rook over here and now we are sacrificing another rook over there. So rook, uh, rook cross g7, king cross g7, queen g6 check. All the squares are blocked from this side and so king is forced. Uh, the queen is well supported by bishop. So king is forced to go on h8. Okay. Yeah. And then and as the black moves on go king h8 and we just play queen h7 checkmate. So you saw before your opponent attacks you, you can attack him in a faster and a stronger way and you can directly win the game. And a good attack is the best defense. If you win the game, you open, you easy, you directly stop the, your game from losing. It's a like a simple logic. So always uh, guys, first try to think for attack. Even to defend, try to think for attacking. You do a counter attack on your opponent, which is faster, then that may work. Okay. Yeah. If you like this uh, double rook sacrifice over here, then make sure just to like um, the video and subscribe the channel for more of such videos for surprise and check out the whole surprise series and the short chess game series. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much.